CBS News Miami. Hello and welcome to CBS News Miami. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Well, the wait, yes, it is finally over. Music's biggest night is just days away. And joining us today are two very special nominees from right here in South Florida. He is a two-time Latin Grammy award-winning artist, producer, and composer whose talents stem from a passion for music gifted to him early in his life. He was born in Lima, Peru, and raised right here in Miami. He is now nominated in this 66th annual Grammys for Tropical Album of the Year year with his mother Mimi the album titled Mimi e Tony an album a testament to the remarkable connection between a mother and son let's take a listen Mimi and Tony, welcome, bienvenidos. This is so exciting. I am very blessed and honored uh, to be here with you, Maribel. Thank you so much yeah. for the invitation. Oh my We're goodness. We're celebrating a very special moment. You have like a permanent yeah. smile on your face, <laughs> verdad? Yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you very much. I'm very happy to be in this beautiful moment, an unforgettable moment for me. And your English is perfect. She was all concerned, oh, I can't speak. In. You did it. You're perfect and just so beautiful. So you're nominated for Tropical Album of the Year yes. for the 66th Annual Grammy Awards. What a moment. How exciting. First of all, I get the goosebumps because I saw that video of you breaking the news to your mom. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, it, this is such, mm -hmm. a, such a blessing because truly, um, I worked two years. Mm -hmm. I dedicated two years of my life to producing this album. More more as a gift for her, you know, as a, just as a, you know, as a son, like a yeah. thank you, right? Um, but as a producer, I am that I'm just a maniac for details mm -hmm. and all that. Like I really did it with as much excellence as possible. So I was hoping, you know, for mm -hmm. like some recognition, yes. right? And this is the highest recognition like we can all have as musicians. So um, when when I got the news mm -hmm. and um, I was like so excited to <laughs> tell my mom, and I didn't know how, but. I, we were going, we had a show that um, day in Indiana, yeah. so we were going to the airport and I just, I had to call her. I wanted to say it in person, but that moment was so, it, like it was just, it was incredible, right? Because, tears of joy, yeah. tears of joy, porque estaba llorando. Yeah. You shed some yeah. tears. <laughs> porque, <clears throat> no me imaginé, no? You couldn't imagine that this would happen. Yeah, that it happened. This is my first album. Mm -hmm. and first nominate and the grand ah. oh my god i said no maybe you are lying for no. me or something no he's real oh my god cry cry in the car oh. the the taxi uh -huh. but cry also with oh. us <laughs> what a beautiful moment and especially this album which i'm sure is so special that you produced with your mother so so talk to us about that and how it came about and you said you've been working on this for quite some time but to share this with your mom I mean, yeah no it, it was like first we we i grew up in mm -hmm. miami I, I got here when i was two years old so i'm, I'm very miami mm -hmm. you know and i they made a band when so I was young. I was a kid. Um, they were playing like Coconut Grove, and yeah. th this this is all I knew. Right, music is is something I grew up into. So uh, fast forward, you know, she's 63 at the time when um, I was I was a, a coach on The Voice Peru. So oh, I was sitting wonderful. as a coach, um, and this was during the pandemic, and mm -hmm. I was in Peru. She was here, and all of a sudden we were in a blind audition, and then I hear my mom's voice, and I hit the button, and I turn around, and I see my mom. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm on screen, I said. I mean, I was there, like in person. Uh -huh. I saw my mom there. I was like, "What? What's going on?" Like, she was yeah. retired at the time. Like, she, didn't, she wasn't singing anymore. So when I saw that, that was what really inspired me to create an album for her, right? Because she waited a long time for this moment, yeah. and working together on it was. It was kind of like a, a family therapy in yeah. a way too. It was. We got really united through music, and it was like a celebration of creating mm -hmm. music that was gonna like really mean a lot to her so mm -hmm. that's why i went to her roots right like the J japanese song like yes, you're seeing right now that's what we're seeing right now yeah. and that clip of the video was actually filmed in tokyo in because tokyo. yes you're Japanese, yes. uh -huh, yeah. born in Peru. Yeah, uh -huh. my grandparents mm -hmm. uh, are uh, were Japanese, mm -hmm. and my 
parents and me, we born in Peru. But our blood mm -hmm. for each uh, side of the family. Yeah, side uh -huh. is 100% Japanese. Uh -huh. oh, no. So he told me, Mom, uh, what do you think in your first album? I want you to sing something in Japanese because your heart is yes. Peruvian, right? Mm -hmm. But you look It's your Japanese. heritage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's but it's your heritage. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. You, so you sang a Japanese song, but with salsa. 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 Yeah. That's amazing. Well, because, yeah. you know, uh -huh. at, at Miami, we grew, I grew up in Miami. My right. mom loves, like, Gloria Estefan. She loves uh -huh. Celia Cruz. Yeah. And this is, you know, the Cuban music is, is here. And that's why I married a Cuban American, yes. uh -huh. right? <laughs> and now my baby is Cuban, Peruvian, Japanese. Yeah. And she's a Adorable. Yeah. yeah no, so, so it, it, we we love salsa music, mm -hmm. and and that's what the the Miami sound, right? Like I think Miami, like I'm talking about Carlos Oliva, mm -hmm. a Miami Sound Machine, I, I Willie Chirino. There's like a sound that comes yes. from here, and I kind of got a lot of inspiration. Mm -hmm. And so every song in this album represents that. And Sukiyaki, which is a very famous mm -hmm. Japanese song, I took it to like this Miami tropical sound. Right? That is amazing. And speaking of tropical and all this Latin music you already have two Grammys under your belt so two Latin Grammys two la well but still it's a Grammy yeah, yeah. Maybe a Latin Grammy, <laughs> but it's a Grammy you have it at home you have that to prove yeah so but but now you're going this is gonna be the first time that you know you were actually nominated before yes correct? 2021 for a Grammy, during the pandemic during which the, we say completely yeah it was kind of it was mm -hmm. it was different because um, I've always wanted to go to the Grammys. Yeah. I've never been. And so that first time I was nominated, I was like, finally, I'm going to go. Yeah. And then they canceled it in Los Angeles because oh. it was closed right. down. So they moved it to Vegas. And then I went to Vegas, but there was not many events. Mm -hmm. It was very weird. Like, not a lot of people can go. Um, mm -hmm. It was, it was, I, I couldn't really enjoy it. Right. And, and like I said, the news kind of like just disappeared because we couldn't do Everything much. Everything that happened yeah. during that year. Yeah, it was difficult. So. You know, two years later, um, we bring this album, and now mm -hmm. we get to go on the red carpet, and it's going to be cool because, you know, I get to walk with my wife on the red carpet, mm -hmm. and then my mom's going to be with my dad on the red carpet. Oh, and, it's going to be a beautiful you know, family affair. And yeah. also Kenji. Oh yeah, and Kenji, my brother, that okay. uh, also is a producer on this yes. album. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's going to be with us, and my sister's going to go as well. A yeah. family affair, <laughs> so beautiful. The red carpet, how exciting! You of course have your oh, dress already. Yes, yeah. I so have important. Right. It's okay. What do I wear? You have it. <laughs> yeah. pregunto, si tú tienes, El vestido, vestido, sí, claro. Vestido. Sí, sí, <laughs> ya, yes, ya lo tienes, you have it. Very happy because I have my, ¿cómo uh -huh. se dice diseñadora? Designer. Designer uh -huh. from Peru. She's the best. And all of the, the videos, mm -hmm. clips that you saw in, a, in uh -huh. my album, all the dresses she make is special for me. Oh, wow. So I love. What a great <laughs> moment. Okay, stick around. We're going to go to break, and when we come back, we're going to take a trip down memory lane with Tony and Mimi and your upbringing here in Miami. So we'll be right back. Somos los dueños de la rumba y el swing. Okay, I just want to st stand up and start dancing because I cannot be sitting listening to this music and watching you dance. I love it. Welcome back. We're joined here again with uh, Tony Suka and his uh, mom, Mimi. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. You just can't, I mean, I'm like moving around in my seat. I gotta I start dancing. <laughs> this, uh, this uh -huh. that song that you're um, listening yeah. to is uh, Aeo, which uh -huh. is a song that we recorded in Cali, Colombia. Oh, wow. Because one of the cool things with the album mm -hmm. is that we jumped around to different uh, nationalities, right? So obviously Japan, the Colombian, this is the Colombian flair. So yeah. my brother is the one who actually threw in some of the urban because my brother's more of an urban producer. Okay. So he did this thing that called Salsa Choque. That's like, comes from the urban parts of Cali, Colombia. Yeah. And we flew over there to shoot the video. And it was like, How everybody was dancing. It was, it was crazy. There's kids of like six, yeah. seven years old just breaking it down. I was like, wow, you know? <laughs> it was so fun. My mom was there, you know? We were just like um, enjoying all the, the culture, right? And so um, super, super fun. Yeah, not work. Just yeah. fun. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not work. No work. So Tony, you were, you were born in Peru. Yes. But you were raised here in Miami at two years old. Mm -hmm. Yes. You went to Sunset. Yes. You went to FIU. I, I did a little research. <laughs> and, um, and tell us about that. Look, 
That's a picture of Oh my of gosh, you. yeah. 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 So, so check it out. That's my mom back yeah. there. Um, this was her band. It's called Nixtura Band. Mm -hmm. And my, yeah. my my dad that's here uh, with us, uh, he was uh, he was like the Emilio stuff. <laughs> my uh, mom was like, Gloria, right? I with the band. Yeah. So that's the kind of the story. My dad uh, plays accordion, he plays piano, and they started a little group. And then that's how I started with the music because they mm -hmm. would rehearse in, in the house, like yeah. in their living room. And I would mm -hmm. just be running around and I would uh -huh. just be like, like no. listening. And she tells me that. Out of the three, my, my brother and my sister, mm -hmm. was, I was the one that most, right? Yeah. I would just like watch and mm -hmm. I would want to learn the drums. And I asked my dad to teach me like the yeah. piano. So then I went to FIU, I, I got my bachelor's mm -hmm. degree and I got my master's in jazz performance. Um, wow. Very uh, homegrown, so you yeah, are homegrown. That's why we are so proud sunset. of you. <laughs> I love my, my high school sunset. Yeah. It was right across my house. I, used, I live in Winston yeah. Park, so um, I was a soccer player. We mm. we were national champions 2004. Oh, wow. I was very really proud of that. I wanted to be I wanted to be a professional soccer player. I wanted really? to be in an MLS, play with Messi and everything. Oh, but I couldn't make it. I didn't well, make yeah, now you're a Grammy Award winning nominee, right? <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. I went yeah. the other route. I went the other route. Which which is great. Yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. Awesome. So you have music definitely in your DNA. Yeah. Yeah. And we used to play. I mean, probably before you walked, you were already like, uh, you know, yeah. playing the drums. Because that is that your passion? Your percussionist? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. I like mm -hmm. to. Um, I like mm -hmm. to bang on things. You know, like yeah. it, I got uh -huh. the sticks and. Um, when I was uh, in middle school, mm -hmm. my dad put me in magnet piano. He wanted me to be a piano okay. player, but. Um, I, I didn't have such a good teacher and I got kind of traumatized. Mm -hmm. She was a little hard on me. <laughs> so my story is that I just, I let out my, sort of my frustrations yeah. on the drums. Oh. And then I went into the jazz band and they always supported me, you know, they were, mm. they were like um, just my supportive parents, you know, they would go to all my recitals. Um, That's so important, yeah, really. Yeah, very, yeah. I think um, because of the support of my parents, mm -hmm. I, I had that confidence, you know. I, I believed in myself and I felt like I had support. Like whenever I had those moments where I was just like, I wanted to quit, because that happens to everybody. Um, mm -hmm. They were there to just, you know, tell me it was going to be okay, and and um, and then we ha we were gigging. That, that's how mm -hmm. we made a living. We, yeah. We that's how we would eat. Like the, every weekend we had Friday Diff Saturday. different bars, yeah. different. Yeah. We used restaurants. to play like Van Dyke Cafe. I'm not sure if you remember that. Yes, of on course. Lincoln Road. Lincoln Road. Yeah. We played all the yeah. time every month. We played at the Arturo Sandoval Jazz Club in the Deville. Yeah. Mm. We played at the oh, Luma wow. Palace at Yucca Lounge on on Lincoln Road yeah, as well. Yeah. We really yeah. go to the beach all the time, mm -hmm. just every weekend. And then they had a lot of private parties. Yeah. Right. The so. Peruvian community uh -huh. always uh, oh, playing contra. gigs, uh -huh. playing gigs, uh -huh. and yeah. my mom's Concierto, si tienen fiesta, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Sí. So my Gracias. mom's, um, mm -hmm. I would say my mom's school is mm -hmm. that right like it was when we went into the studio it was, it was her first time entering the studio to record this album and for a singer <laughs> that had you? never yeah never. she had never recorded never. you have never recorded an album no. all the music that's what you've been doing your whole entire life no because no? uh it's very difficult no when mm -hmm. we are immigrant in another mm -hmm. country you know yeah. my husband he went to different studios mm -hmm. or uh, talk with dif different producers, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, money is important yeah. and it's difficult. And the kids are, are, are and I said, no, it's <coughs> difficult for us. Mm -hmm. uh, no. So was that a dream that you sort of put on the side? Yeah, on the Como side. Dijiste, voy, tengo mi familia y ten, tengo mis hijos y tenemos yes. que salir adelante. Sí, sí. So music, you sort of put it because you had to take care of your family and your yeah. kids. But now, but fast forward how many years later and look what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, going back to your roots and what you yeah. love doing. But I'm sure it wasn't easy. Like you say, Tony, you did a, a lot of gigs and, and, yeah. and you had to leave music for a while because you wanted to raise your children. Yeah. What were some of the difficulties that you went through to get to the stage where you are right now? Yeah, I, w I would say the, m the money mm -hmm. situation yeah. uh, was always difficult because I would see my dad had to work like one, two, mm -hmm. three jobs at the same time. Sleep very little. I wouldn't see him at all. Like sometimes yeah. he would he would leave early in the morning, come back at night, you know, be tired. And then my mom was cleaning, cooking, <laughs> yeah. handling everything mm -hmm. and so there was not much time for for much you know mm -hmm. so um, I would say that was one of the, the pressures yeah. and then that brings also family stress mm -hmm. a lot of times so sometimes in the house we would just be all stressed out yeah and um, and seeing that was a little difficult for me right um, but when it was crazy because we would mm -hmm. go to these gigs right and they were like eight to ten hour gigs because mm -hmm. we would get there we would have to carry the speakers my so, mom would be connecting cables <laughs> Um, but in the moment that we would be performing, like mm -hmm. everything would be gone. Yeah, right? it's it was cool. Like we're, it was like 
it was like the Sukar Five, right? Yeah. It was like a family yeah. band. Like my sister would sing, my brother would play, yeah. I was playing, and it was our therapy, mm -hmm. like this moment. Yeah. And uh -huh. then after the gig, we would have to tear everything <laughs> down, down, and then, oh my gosh, right? It was, um, it's crazy because mm -hmm. in that moment, I was like, oh my God, that's why my sister, she decided that she didn't want to be a musician, and she went to Harvard and studied, oh. and she got a dental uh, degree, and she, she actually is an orthodontist, very successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy because now, like last night we were filming a music video, yeah. my sister was there like an, as an extra dancing, yeah. Yeah. and she loves she the loves. music, right? Her passion, she yeah. wants to learn the drums now, and she's like, Tony, I want to play in the band, you know? <laughs> and she's like an orthodontist, yeah. three kids, but the music is such a passion, it's right? It's in her DNA, I mean, it's, you guys all have it. And you have a beautiful daughter, she's yes. how old already? She's two. two. And she sees you, is she into music? Does she, she love loves it when she music. sees you she and knows dancing? She knows already songs no. like Juan Tanamera, she sings it, she yeah. dances. She's back You know, she's back there, she's always, uh, <laughs> she loves to, to see all the music videos. Yeah. Yeah. She dances, she sings. And my wife, um, she's always putting music for her. Since yeah. she was a little, like she, was, she wasn't even born yet and she was like putting music all the time. So um, hopefully it, it continues down the line. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna force her because my parents never forced me. Yeah. My parents just had a bunch mm -hmm. of instruments in the house. So she already has a piano, she has to Just ballast. expose her to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for joining us. The thank best of you. luck, we will be rooting for you. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you so much. And We're you can learn more about Tony and Mimi Suka and everything about their music, of course, on our website, cbsnewsmiami.com. Mm -hmm. And you can catch all the action right here on the CB on CBS and News and streaming on at Paramount Plus and of course Showtime. Again, thank you thank so you much for much. joining us. Mucha suerte. Mucha you, and Miami. bring that Grammy yeah, back. Let's home. go, Miami. Yes. Let's go. Uh -huh. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Oh my God, that was awesome. <laughs>